While India is expected to observe a Janta curfew tomorrow, remember this was a clarion call given by the Prime Minister asking people to be in a self-style exile. Uh, what does it mean? Well, does it mean that we'll not be able to commute from one place to another tomorrow? And what sort of impact is it likely to have? Let's talk about all of that. Firstly, what is Janta curfew? Remember, it's a self imposed curfew. We are expected to stay put tomorrow wherever we are at our homes without non-essential services. So your cooks, your house helps may not turn up tomorrow because they are expected to stay indoors as well. Uh, it is a drill for 14 hours only from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So literally for 14 hours only, you are expected to stay put wherever we are. Uh, it also means that you may not be able to travel from one place to another because many state government have pledged support to uh, the Janta curfew. Your private buses, your public buses may not ply. In fact, Indian Railways has also pledged support. So there will be no trains uh, for tomorrow, for 14 hours tomorrow. Uh, air travel will also be difficult because Go Air and Vistara will be suspending its operations tomorrow. Only Indigo will be operating that too for about 60% of its total capacity. Uh, metro trains will not be operating. Uh, your Kirano stores uh, will also be shut down. About 15 lakh Kirano shops will be shutting down tomorrow. So all non-essential services will not be operating. Only essential services. And essential services mean only healthcare services, only firefighters, medical professionals. Uh, only they will be operating. Your media services, of course, will be operating too. And that will happen for about 14 hours, as I mentioned. Now... Additionally, at about 5 p.m. tomorrow, we are expected to stand at our balconies, at our doors and windows and show our support to these people. These people who are out there, medical professionals, uh, your airline staff who are out there, who are uh, risking their lives to ensure that we get the facilities we want and we are supposed to clap or ring our bells in support of these people. Remember, they are our first line of defense and they're risking our their lives for us and we are expected to show our support towards them at about 5 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, remember, this is all happening for the larger interest of the nation and many of you are asking whether this will help at all. Uh, this essentially ensures that the spread of coronavirus or the contagion is limited for one day. Now, as per, you know, VK Paul, uh, he is a member of Niti Aayog and he told Times of India uh, that even one single universal day of, uh, you know, physical distancing will ensure that it's a blow to the chain, the transmission chain of coronavirus. And that's exactly what we are attempting to do. We are attempting to ensure that for one entire day, people stay put, people stay indoors. This essentially could also be a drill and will prepare us for any eventuality that may happen tomorrow. Remember, as per ICMR, which is a nodal body right now taking care of all coronavirus related incidents, uh, ICMR says that we're still at stage two of coronavirus spread. We are not at stage three, which means that there is no evidence of community spread just as yet and that's what we want to ensure that there is no community spread going forward and this one day of janta curfew will ensure that there is a blow to the transmission chain remember coronavirus highly contagious spreads from person to person and we need to break the chain and that's essentially what we are going to do tomorrow so each of us are expected to stay indoors to break the chain and to make sure that we are safe and we are sound and we do not spread it to people around us people we love people at our homes this is also a, going to be a sign of our resilience, a show of our resilience tomorrow, a show of our discipline tomorrow and determination to protect each other from this pandemic. The least that we can do is stay indoors and, uh, you know, comply with all the government diktats that are coming at this point in time.